Yeah, a hot yoga is great if you want to pass out and get ringworm. But do you like a sauna? <laughs> uh, I do like a sauna. I love I love a sauna. I'm into that. Yeah, I am too. They also have hot boxing. <laughs> what? For the first time ever on the podcast, Mr. Adam Doliak, how are you, man? Fantastic. La- last time I saw you, we were, we were tasting ranch we dressing. We were reviewing ranch. Yeah, which ranch Actually, you. you crushed that. And I was like, kind of the moment where I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not that good at this. Maybe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe Adam should be doing this and not me. I do love ranch. It is. It good. wasn't one of those put on things where you're like, let's do yeah. a ranch review. Oh, yeah. I could pretend to like ranch. No, yeah, it no. Was, it was like, oh, hell yeah. You could tell by the way you were talking about it. Yeah, I get passionate. Yeah. So what's the plan this summer? This summer, this fall, you doing more shows? You putting out any more music? Lots, lots of music and lots of shows, actually. So we have, I'm going to do my first full length record on the label this year. Comes out September 30th. We kind of were talking before that you've been running around doing some shows. I saw you were at Fenway Park. Yeah, we played in Boston, which may have uh, overtaken my new favorite city. Boston is? Yeah. What do you love about Boston? It's just got some magic to it. I, I, I can't really explain exactly what I love about places. I obviously, I played baseball in college. Yep. I uh, played in the College World Series, almost played professional, so it's still very close to my heart. Yep. I try to go to a game anywhere I go. So Fenway, I've still never seen a game there. We just went, we got the tour and got, you know, under the, inside the green, the monster yep. and everything. But it just had some magic to it. San uh, San Diego was my favorite and still is up there for me right now. Uh, but, but we got to do Fenway was pretty magical. I got to see the, you know, you see where they filmed Ted and yep. the last scene of Moneyball and mm-hmm. all this, the, the, what was it? The town Ben yep. Affleck does the fight scene in there, the, the shootout. Yep. Um, but yeah, we've been running around. Glad to be back on tour. Yeah. The, uh, I imagine just going and seeing all the stuff at Fenway being such a historic ballpark. is pretty cool. Um, the you said that Boston's your favorite city. Well, clearly you've never been to Kokomo, Indiana <laughs> before, because that town's pretty good. Guilty, never yeah. been there. Yeah, Kokomo, it's a state of mind. <laughs> also in Indiana. Also in Indiana, okay. though. It's a state of mind, and it's in Indiana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that brings me to the next point. What's your favorite Jimmy Buffett song? <laughs> oh, good, great question. <laughs> Answer is also Kokomo. <laughs> All right. Well, not a not a Jimmy Buffett song, but that works. I'm sure he says it somewhere. He probably song. does say yeah. Kokomo at some point. Um, I'm a parrot head. That's why I'm bringing that up. <laughs> I went and saw him uh, about a year ago at Ascent. I bet it was oh, electric. Yeah. It was electric. You know, he's he went to uh, college where I went to college. No way. University of Southern Mississippi. That is, uh, and I'm I'm in the presence of someone who went to the same college as Jimmy yeah. Buffett. Did you shake his hand? Uh, I've never, I've never oh, shaken gotcha. his hand. I've never even met the guy. He oh, was gotcha. obviously, uh, hopefully you can tell years before I was there. <laughs> um, but he, a few years, yeah. yeah. He apparently didn't like it very much because he's never come back to play a show. Yeah. At Southern well, Miss probably, or in Hattiesburg. He probably felt a little bit like I did once I got done with college is I kind of felt like I got ripped off, you know? <laughs> hey, you it. spend all this money getting a degree and then I just don't ever use it. He probably feels a little bit that way. Yeah. Normally I have to tell people Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where I'm from is Brett Favre territory. That's where Brett's oh, from yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, but not in this may, podcast. Yeah, but say so maybe yeah. more of a Jimmy Buffett crowd here. Yes. So. <laughs> um, so to stay on the topic of baseball, since you're a baseball guy, how would you make baseball less boring? Ooh. Go to the game. Well, I've been to some games, but still, you're bored at the inning, game. Inning number five, six, you're like, <laughs> okay, same song and dance over and over again. Don't stay in your seat the entire game. <laughs> so what Walk you're around. saying, so you're saying to make baseball more fun is go to the ballpark and not watch the baseball. Yeah, game. I mean, especially like I'm guilty of this big time with the Nashville Sounds. Yep. Uh, they have the right field roost out there. They got ping pong tables. They got Jack Daniels slushies. Have you ever been to a game there? No, I haven't. I mean, I've I've been to. I usually try and avoid baseball games. I see. Uh, yeah, I guess I should have <laughs> picked up on that. <laughs> but I will say, like, I've watched. I really don't watch much of the Sounds games when I go, but it's still a blast. Yeah, and I have a sounds. little bit of a different niche. Like having played, I played in Cape Cod League, and I Ooh. I have a bunch of people that are now buddies that are still playing. Yep. Um. So I'm norm- normally when I'm at a game, I'm watching one of them. So I have a little bit more investment yeah. going on. Um. Then, what do you think of all the juiced baseball talk? I don't, I'm not really up to it. Is that was that what's been going on? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, okay. there's been big, right, Jared? That's what Jake said. 
big theory that they they're juicing the baseballs in the MLB now, trying to get more home runs, put more asses in seats. Well, home runs do put asses in seats. Absolutely. I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, I feel like they're doing the opposite in college. I think what they should do is maybe stick a home run derby about inning number four. Yeah, just more inning number four is just it's just a home run derby, and whoever wins the home run derby then gets like an extra two runs on the added score. <laughs> Could what do work. you think of that? I'm that in, would be kind of fun. As many home run derbies as we can have, I'm in. Yes. People I'm always ask that. me what I miss about baseball. I'm like, hitting. That's yeah. it. Dingers. That's, hitting that's dingers. It. Hitting <laughs> dingers. That's it. <laughs> what what uh, number in the lineup were you? Four. Three or four. I was first uh, baseman. First slugger. baseman. Yeah. So there like Clean my position baby. doesn't really matter. I just have to hit home runs. So are yeah. you pretty flexible then playing first base? Uh, you get a little stretch going? It was a few years ago. So not currently, but I, I did used to be. But it's like riding a bike, right? Nah, I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the one thing that's not riding a bike is flexibility. Do you, do you remember <laughs> there was a workout that was popular? Uh, it's called P90X. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Muscle confusion is what it was all about. <laughs> well, I remember vividly. I, I did the first five days. I think it's six days of the week. And the sixth day was yoga. Yeah. I remember walking up and I was doing the workout and I was like, oh, thank God. Today is just yoga, stretching, <laughs> chill. It's going to be the easiest oh, workout. Just going to slap some Dude. nice music on, light some candles. It kicked my ass so hard that yeah. I've, I've never, and this has been eight years ago, probably never done yoga ever again. Yeah, really. <laughs> Terrified yeah, of it. Yeah, it really scarred you. It scarred me. Yeah. What was the hardest pose? I don't, I don't know. I've tried to forget all of it. I just, I just remember I hated every second of it. Yeah, he's literally like have blacked that out of his life. He I don't, I don't want more. to think about it. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Done so. Uh, yeah. My brother did P90X. I remember that was a big thing. And you know that P90X is an old trend because you would buy the DVDs yeah. and plug them into the DVD player. Now you just would download correct. an app, right? If it still exists. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. You got to maybe look at, uh, if you're into weird workout fads, maybe try a total gym with Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris? Yeah. My parents still have yeah. one in their house. Oh, yeah. My mom uses one like yeah. on the daily. Mm -hmm. So it's a good move. Anything Chuck Norris makes. I'm so have you been thinking about getting your flexibility back, though? I actually have been thinking about venturing back into some type of yoga. Just because I feel like the older you get, the more important yeah. flexibility and stretching. What do you think stretching. of hot yoga? That would be what I would do. I would rather do hot yoga than regular yoga. I, I tell you what, I did hot yoga one time. So I played football in college. So I was, at some point I was working out. I know it doesn't necessarily look like it now, but I was working out and my buddy was like, hey, let's go to hot yoga. I got in there and I was like, this is already the worst. You walk in, you're just sweating. It's like, it, it's too hot. They, I was like, wait, so time out. You guys actually purposely made it really hot in here? It's what, 90 in there? 95 yeah. or something? Yeah. You realize that we've moved past this. We've invented AC. <laughs> this is absurd. Um, and at one point, you know, I just like sit down. I think most people have to just yeah. basically sit down and you're in a, obviously a pool of your own sweat. Yeah. A lot of people just get up and leave because you're going to pass out. I mean, that's got to be like, like area one for ringworm, right? With all the sweat and everything that's <laughs> yeah. going on in there. Yeah. There's no way they're getting that place clean enough. It's pushing me away from hot yoga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Needs to get fumigated up. Yeah. Here, so hot sure. yoga is great if you want to pass out and get ringworm. But do you like a sauna? <laughs> uh, I do like a sauna. I love, I love a sauna. But see, that's just sitting there. Yeah, that's right. No I would do uh, I do yoga if it was just sitting there meditating, <laughs> and I do hot yoga. If hot meditation. Yeah, yeah, I do hot meditation. That's a sauna. I'm into that. Yeah, yeah, I am too. They also have hot boxing. <laughs> what? Like boxing, but it's <laughs> 100 degrees in there. You're doing a boxing class. Oh, it's boxing. Do you get to box not each the, other? Not the one that initially came to your head when right. I said hot box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I was, I was like, I feel like we've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, that's that's, that's been around for a while. <laughs> yeah. This just in, Adam Doliak loves hot boxing Big hot with boxer. his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually could not be further from the truth with me, yeah. actually. So. In a 2002 Grand Prix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not a weed guy. If I smoked weed or did a gummy right now, I would be flat on your Five ass. minutes into this interview, I would probably just put the microphone down, roll out the door, and not tell anyone where I was going. Just like yeah. hot yoga. I'd panic. Exactly. Yeah. Just like hot yoga. Yeah. 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 Don't do both of them at once. That would be really Can you bad. imagine? Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.